Hi guys, today's video is another collaboration and challenge video. It is the Bright and Bold Challenge and it's hosted by Crystal from the Crafty Creech DIY and Furniture Flips. I hope I got that right. And co-hosted with Twitch from Creep Designs. So thank you to those guys for hosting. Um, I'm just going to get right into it because as per usual, I am running really behind with my video. So um, let's go. Okay, so you'll see that I start out with two of these little, I don't know, bedside table things on wheels. Um, they do actually have those peg things so you can put the shelf in. It was just for transporting that they're obviously not in there. But um, two will become one and there's a reason for that. So I started out doing some repairs on these and quite quickly it became obvious that one of them just was not going to make it. It was all bubbled on the top. So it's just laminate. They're just laminate bedside tables. They're cheap and nasty um, and they're just not great. So the one that bubbled and carried on at the top, I just discarded. It just was not worth my time fixing it. So before I decided to get rid of the one that was really broken, I did glue it down, I tightened it all up, and also those pegs um, that hold the shelf in, I took those out and aligned them so that they were both even. Obviously this was a bit of a waste of time, but at the stage I thought that it would be salvageable. To make them look a little less cheap, I suppose, I grabbed some wood filler and I just filled in those holes where the other pegs were and also the hole at the top where the uh, screw thing attaches the top, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just going around and I'm filling in those holes right now. Here's the top that I thought I could actually just sand down and it would be okay. But what actually happened is once I put the primer on the top, I actually primed it um, with the Carts and Millie Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond. And I think it's just because it's laminate, it reacted with the water-based primer and it just started to lift even more. So underneath it is just chipboard and it really was not worth my time to save the piece. Now I'm just coming back to those holes that I filled and I'm just giving those a sand with fine grade sandpaper sponge. Um, I did actually switch it up to a coarse grade just because that filler was really tough. So here I'm coming in with the Cartamilli Boutique Primer and Adhesive Bond and I'm just giving them the shelf first a coat of the grey primer. And I'm using the grey primer A because I'm going to be using really bold and bright colors and also a dark color and B because it's an adhesive adhesion primer. So the paint will stick to this really well and this will stick to the laminate. I didn't even bother to scuff sand or anything because this primer will stick to anything. paints I'm using in this are their Carts and Millie Boutique Mineral Paints and I'll pop a list of all the colours that I use through this video in the description box below. For the body of the table, I decided to go with the colour Jet, which is like a blue charcoal colour. It's really quite nice. Um, and it just made the colours that I decided to go for on the top pop. So the, the idea behind this is to give this piece a Serapi look, um, 
which is like the Mexican blanket style. So the shelf and the tabletop will actually be like a Mexican blanket. At least that's the vision or the, the idea I have in mind. And obviously for the first coat, I'm not really worried about brush strokes because they will level out and this will all be covered over. I just sort of want to get the paint on to start. And the first coat always looks really bad. Okay, so the lighting on this isn't great, but I'm going in for coat number two of um, the jet. I don't know why the lighting's doing this, but it's not great. So apologies for that, but um, this is the second coat. And now for the really fun but very time consuming part. So it's time to tape off all my lines for the Serapi um, style that I'm going for. What I'm doing here is I'm just going through with the Katz and Millie Boutique top coat and I'm just uh, top coating between the tapes so the colours don't bleed through. the first layer of tape and place down some more. Okay, so it's a nice quick one today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy the pictures. Thanks for watching.